Hey, welcome back to ABC 15 in the mornings. Obviously, I'm standing outside, and bad news is Iris has been breaking to us. Triple digits are coming back, and there's really, sorry, you're not under the umbrella. There's no avoiding it. I'm here with Frank from Desert Car Care. You're showing us ways to make sure our AC keeps working in all this heat. Absolutely. It is hot, yeah. people. And so let's start with the basics. You know, you're going to get under this hood here. Okay. You need to check this front AC condenser, especially for folks that are driving on the freeway lots because you've got all these bugs and Ooh, debris. Yes. Here's a quick tip. You can take a garden hose okay. and um, we can actually spray this Wow! right in here and get it all cleaned out. Okay. And you are going to help with the efficiency of the system. That's something you can do. Right, well, anyone easy. can do that. I mean, I Absolutely. can even do that one, right? Okay. Absolutely. So the second part of this is Ugh. you may have blown the ACs warm, right? So we may That's have bad. a leak. So leaks are terrible mm -hmm. because what can happen is you can end up starving this vital AC compressor. This is the heart of the system. Okay. Here's a little residue. We can't see Freon, but we can see the mineral oil uh -huh. that lubricates this compressor. Now, when a technician, an automotive technician, goes in to check that, right. you can't see Freon, they're actually going to use, let's see if we can get the camera to pick this up, a UV light oh, right in here, and you can see cool. the contrast. So I want yes. folks to know if they're going to take it into their local garage, they're going to expect to have a leak test done. These AC lines are mm -hmm. also going to be a culprit. They're rubber, and they can leak right in here. So the thing is this, a lot of our viewers, Every summer, I have to recharge my AC. Right. Well, they really need to catch a leak because if they don't, they could starve this compressor and end up right. having to replace that. And that's big money. That's a lot of money. Yes. Yes. And so people, though, they need to take this to a mechanic to yes. get this stuff. This you can handle by yourself, but you need to have. Definitely. And, you okay. know, I got to speak to our great friends who are checking us out here on this segment. You guys may want to try to do your own charge and go in an AC can like this. Okay. Not exact science. There's a lot of science okay. to AC. So I just want folks to be aware. These guys, you may get lucky, but you really need a certified professional. Okay. They've actually got to put it in a deep vacuum, boil the moisture. There okay. is a process. So, pros. yeah. And also, this can be very explosive if you're not careful. Okay. Roadside okay. bomb right here. We're going to leave that for you. And talking about a couple other quick things, too, with people driving in the heat, what else should they be looking at? Well, you know, your AC may not have a Freon issue. Mm -hmm. We need to ensure that the temperature of the engine is maintained. The engine has to be running properly. So, one thing that you may have, your AC may not be blowing efficiently because these engine fans are not coming on to quench the uh, engine. Okay. Typical symptom at idle, in traffic, AC starts to blow warmer. Yeah. Your engine temperature also may go up. Remember, the computer is designed to shut the system off if the engine is overheating. Right. The other thing, too, guys, we really, in our desert climate, we really need to be flushing our radiator, guys. Now, this is really extreme, but I've taken this radiator radiator part, these fins are what actually flows the coolant, so it's eliminating the heat okay. and sending that quenching coolant to the engine, so got to make sure that radiator squared away. Oh, most definitely. Thank you so much for all this information. We have great tips for us. Of course, we'll put it on our website as well.